thank you, President, uh, Commissioner, fellow colleagues. Uh, it's my pleasure to, to speak on behalf of the Agricultural Committee, who also consider this, and to thank all the shadow rapporteurs on that and Ms. Lepage for her good work in trying to come to trying to bring uh, both the reports together into a, an agreed position. Uh, the Commission proposal, of course, is not about whether you're pro-GM or anti-GM. The legislation will give Member States, for the very first time, a proper legal base to ban cultivation of GM crops. It will give them the power to do so. And uh, from the Commission's point of view, it hopes it will free up the stalemate in the current authorisation process and hopefully bring to an end Member States' illegal use of safeguard clauses to intro introduce bans on GM cultivations, which the European Court of Justice, of course, have found against on a number of occasions. The Agricultural Committee's approach to this was to rather reluctantly support uh, the Commission's proposal, but with a number of safeguards. We wanted to reinforce the view that the principle of proportionality be taken into account when Member States think about introducing a ban on GM cultivation. We also believed and insisted that the freedom of choice of consumers and farmers be taken into account as well by, me by Member States considering a ban. And at no time was any legal advice given to us that that would be at odds with the legal basis we were working on. Uh, we also insisted that farmers and growers must be given proper notice of a ban to give them time to adapt if any member state decided to introduce a ban in either its region or across the whole of its territory. I have also insisted that member states introduce as an absolute requirement coexistence measures to protect non-GM growers. And that should always be the first step before going further and using the new powers that we are seeking to introduce uh, to put a blanket ban or a regional ban in place that Member States should use coexistence measures as the first step in trying to protect uh, uh, non-GM growers. Finally, we agreed Member States could use wider environmental grounds to introduce a ban, provided, and this is very important, they did not undermine the current EU-wide authorisation process. It must be distinct the environmental uh, grounds that they use for introducing a ban. Otherwise, we threaten to undermine EU authorisation process, which I think is very, very important. I hope we can make pro progress, progress on this issue. Uh, I notice the divisions in the Council, so I suspect it won't be easy, uh, but I hope that the Commissioner, the Parliament and the Council can make this small adjustment and this giving back of a small amount of power to Member States as a way to break the current logjam, and I hope we can make progress on that. Thank you.